Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Valentine's Day, February the 14th, 2021. Let's talk cryptocurrency. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let's say you're in a scene like yesterday. Let's say you own some Dash. Let's say you find out that Dash is up around 50%. And as you scour the net, you can't find the reason why. Now, maybe it keeps the 50% premium. Maybe this is some kind of short-term spike that's going to wear off after an hour or so. Right? For the record, Dash, as I make this video one day later, is still up over $230 a coin. But the first time you see the volatility upward, you don't know. Right? Lord knows. Coins have gone up and gone back down. You want to lock in some profits. The purpose of this video is to convince you that you need to set up the mechanism beforehand so your ability to do a transaction is streamlined. Right now, before I go further, let me just point out that using Dash for a purchase, using any crypto for a purchase when it's up big, is a taxable event. Right? You need to factor in the cost of taxes before you do the transaction. Right? Because legally these cryptocurrencies are assets. And when they appreciate and then you spend them, you're incurring a capital gains. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that what looks like a good deal might not be a good deal. Some providers are telling you that you can buy Visa and MasterCard Bitcoin denominated debit cards, right? Cards you could use that'll just convert your Bitcoin into the US dollar if you're in the United States. So you can just use a credit card or a debit card, right? A Visa or MasterCard at the Starbucks and they'll just take some Bitcoin out of your account. They even promise you Bitcoin back. What I want people to realize is that sometimes there's fine print involved. One such provider is charging people an annual fee for their upcoming Bitcoin card of $200 a year. Right? $200 a year. So understand, while they're giving you some Bitcoin back, unless they're giving you more than $200 worth of Bitcoin back, you're paying an arm and a leg for the service. So what you want to do beforehand, before the spike in coins like Dash, takes you by surprise and you say to yourself, wow, how can I take advantage of this spike before it reverts back to the mean? What I want people to do is to consider looking at Uphold.com. Now, please, nothing I say in this video should be remotely construed as financial advice. I'm just telling you what I've done. I'm just telling you what appeals to me. I want everyone watching this video to do their own independent research, to compare and contrast what's being offered in the market for themselves, to come to their own conclusions. I'm just telling you about ideas that appeal to me. So on Uphold.com, you could literally, with a few clicks, set a MasterCard or Visa that you order through the service to one of several cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Dash, Litecoin, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Many others, and I mean many others, the service prides itself on its flexibility. So, 
what I believe folks want to consider doing is funding an uphold account, getting the card, setting up this protocol before there's a spike in a bit in a cryptocurrency that you want to liquidate. Right? You want to set it up. So here's how I handled yesterday's Dash run-up. I was on my sofa. I was just having a good day. I was checking the internet. And I noticed Dash, for some reason, was up big. So I did my due diligence. I thought, well, why is it up big? If there's some groundbreaking announcement that's going to change the future of Dash, I want to know about it. Right? Maybe I don't try to pay some bills immediately to take advantage of the volatility, the increase, because maybe that increase is permanent. Maybe I have news to justify the increase. Well, even though I've held Dash a long time, and I think the world of Dash, I didn't find the news that indicated a structural shift. So, Dash had gone up short term, 40 to 50 percent at the time. I thought, you know, I have some bills to pay that I'd love to get a 40 to 50 percent discount on. So I went to my Uphold account. Now understand, Uphold is available for Android users, for example, at Google Play Store. Understand it's two different apps you have to download. One is just the Uphold wallet. And you want to have enough money in there spending money, right? Not your hardcore investment money, but spending money. So when you're out and you're at a Starbucks and you have an uphold card, you're able to just use the card and, you know, use some sound money in your spending around uphold account, right? The second app is actually specific to the uphold card, which of course you need to order wait and then get as part of your setup of the protocol. The second app allows you to see the balance in your uphold card. See all the transactions. This is a real time itemized transaction list that syncs with your debit card. It also gives you the capability with just a few clicks to change your reserve currency. So, I'll have the card attached to my Dash account. If I wanted, I could have the card attached to a Bitcoin account or some other accounts, Bitcoin Cash. So, as I sat on my sofa and I saw Dash was up big, I was able to just take out the uphold card, immediately pay some bills using the card. Because, of course, the card instantaneously allowed me to convert Dash through using the card to US dollars. I didn't have to go through Shapeshift.io. I uh, didn't have to go through SimpleSwap.io or one of these other, you know, currency change setups. That might not accurately reflect short-term volatility in a cryptocurrency. I didn't have to go through a different cryptocurrency, right? Let's say there's a spike in Dash and let's say my vendor accepts Bitcoin. So I need to change Dash to Bitcoin to do the transaction or I need to change Dash to Bitcoin so I can then convert the Bitcoin to dollars, which is the case with Cash App. I didn't have to do any of that. All I had to do to take advantage of the upswing in Dash yesterday was to take out my Dash card and interface with the vendor. Right, All I had to do yesterday to realize 40 to 50% savings was to take out my uphold card. I could have used it on Amazon.com, for example, because, of course, that uphold card is a MasterCard. 
right? Understand, the minute Dash spiked in value, uphold immediately shows you the value of your Dash holding in dollars. So, Dash spike 40 to 50%. I looked on my Uphold card account. They showed me the 40 to 50% spike on the card. Now, yesterday it was Dash. It could have been Litecoin. It could have been Bitcoin. Right? I would have had the same ease of use. I would have had the same spike in purchasing power. And what I like, and check out the rates on Uphold.com is that they're variable, right? Rather than me paying 200 bucks to use a card for a year, right? They're charging you on a per use basis depending on the coin involved. You need to become aware of that beforehand. Not only that, I've used my Uphold card a few times, spending some Dash. Believe it or not, they give you Dash back every few weeks. So, what I want to encourage people to do is to understand that cryptocurrency is still a new, young market. I believe the total crypto market cap is still less than $1.5 trillion. Right? Think about that. So, it's nascent. It's new. It's a fraction of the gold market. Not that people walk around thinking the gold market's that big. Well, this is a fraction of the gold market. So you're, so you're going to have volatility. You're going to have announcements that swing markets. You're going to have perceptions, folklore out there, that drives people to buy or sell cryptocurrency. So, if... Your crypto holdings are in Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, right, others. And you want to take advantage of short-term upward price swings. Then I strongly recommend, and I mean strongly, that you research Uphold.com the ability to link a Visa or MasterCard to a cryptocurrency. Understand, I know there's a lot of news in the news. Folks, the technology is not only here now, folks, it's in the marketplace right now. You need to be able to link that cryptocurrency to your Visa or MasterCard. So that when there are spikes, you're able to quickly just coordinate it, right? As I said, yesterday it could have been a spike in Bitcoin. I'd be able to do the same thing on Uphold. It could have been a spike in Bitcoin Cash. I would have been able to do the same thing on Uphold. Just quickly link my Bitcoin Cash holdings to my Visa or MasterCard. So I could spend the money before the volatility reverts to the mean, right? You need to be nimble. You need to be quick. You need to have this in place before the volatility happens. Let me close by saying there's some people who are just finding out what a cryptocurrency is, right? They'll come up to you, they'll say, Gee, where is Bitcoin accepted? They're behind the learning curve. They don't realize that you can just switch Bitcoin into dollars using your Visa or MasterCard with certain providers. Right? They're clueless on that. They don't know you can do that with Bitcoin Dash. They don't understand that you could go on Amazon, a site that doesn't accept Bitcoin and use a Visa or MasterCard to spend Bitcoin for Amazon products. Well, my point to you is you can't go by what's being reported in the mainstream media. The mainstream media is catering to people who are just finding out that there are things called digital assets. You have to be more advanced than that. 
nor can you fall for these supposedly mind-blowing offers from providers where they say, hey, you could use our debit card to spend your Bitcoin. We'll give you Bitcoin back. But of course, they're charging you $200 per year for that. Now's the time to shop around to find the best deal. Now's the time to ask the hard questions. Okay, your card helps me spend Bitcoin. What about my Dash? Player, what about my Litecoin? Just to understand, there are cards that do all that that already exist that do it cheaply, that do it quickly, that do it seamlessly. Yesterday I used Uphold. I had some bills. Dash spiked more than 40%. I used my Uphold card to, in essence, get a 40% discount on those bills. Right? I think Uphold.com is worth a look. I think you want to consider, well, put it this way. Let me change the language. I'm glad. I'm glad that I picked up an uphold card that links to multiple bit, uh, multiple cryptocurrencies. It enabled me to take advantage of the upward price volatility yesterday in Dash. Right? For the record, let me also say this too. I've been a Dash holder for a long time. Dash used to be higher than it is right now, much higher. I view Dash as significantly undervalued, right? Dash right now is a major player, for example, in the Venezuelan economy. A lot of Latin America is using Dash. The mayor of Miami is openly talking about making that city Bitcoin friendly. You need to look at that development. You can imagine, given the large number of international consumers who do business in Miami, right, that the minute Miami becomes more crypto-friendly, Dash is going to be a big player. But I also recognize that it takes markets some time, sometimes, to realize value. For the record, I think Bitcoin's hopelessly undervalued right now, right? So when you have price swings, you cannot assume, up or down, that the price swing is going to stick. Because of the relatively small size of the market, right, because the market's immature, you can't assume that price changes are going to be sticky like they would be in mature markets with better information. So be prepared for the price swings before they happen have some kind of way to quickly cash out at a higher price if the higher price suddenly appears. One way, the way I've used, is to have a Visa or MasterCard linked to the various cryptocurrencies. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.